Welcome back to time now 6:43 a.m. When the Hogs play in the first round of the NCAA tournament on Thursday, there will be one noticeable piece of clothing you may spot in the crowd. It is this hat with a giant pigs plastered across the front. Turns out this hat is pretty hard to find these days, selling out at shops across the state. All new this morning, Jose Carranza explains why and how it became so popular. It's a Wake Up Central morning original that you won't see anywhere else. Lance and Lindsay Fairchild are Razorback fans from Maumelle, out to create their own look. Everybody has kind of the same standard Razorback gear, and we wanted stuff like that we would like to wear like and, and be a little different. Since 2008, the Couples Golf Apparel and Accessory Company has evolved from outfitting the Razorback golf team to this. In 2018, the couple made their first hat with P-I-G-S written across it. I wanted that hat. I just didn't know that everybody else did too. Lance says he started giving the hats to friends, one an avid baseball fan that attended regionals. And it was like all over TV. But the moment that really changed it for the couple was when Lance attended one of his first football games in 2021. In the SEC Nation's game day fashion, analysts picked helmets for their predicted winners. Only this time, analyst Jordan Rogers borrowed a fan's pig's hat from the crowd. We're literally en route to the game. My phone's blowing up. I had 500 hats. Before we made it to the game, the hats were gone. And so at that point, I was like, Okay, maybe this is going to be something. From there, fans, athletes, and even hog icons began repping the brand all over social media and even on TV. An otherwise accidental creation turned hog sensation. Like the demand was insane. We had to figure out how to do it the best way to make enough product, but also secure the brand. Like we had to trademark pigs. It really caught my eye though, and I started asking around. People already knew about it, and they were asking me the same thing. Where do you get it? Roman Villasana is the founder and CEO of Swoon Juice Bar. Right off MLK in the heart of Fayetteville, Roman has Razorback gear, including the hats, on display. Every time I go online to show a, a customer, it's out of stock. While everyone scrambles to grab one of these hats, the Fairchilds have not only made friends, but also helped others along the way. Just like the Razorbacks, it's, it's all like one big family. Uh, everybody knows everybody, and we're all trying to help out each other. It's more valuable than the dollar that we earn. The networking and just the friendships. A lot. Like I always say, like, the more good you do, the more good you can do. With their product now becoming an Arkansas fan staple, they just have one thing left to say. Gosh, thank everybody for their support and, like, yeah. repping this stuff. Like, I mean, I think that that's one thing, like, I'm... We're proud to be from Arkansas. We're proud of our fan base because I think it's the best fan base yeah. there is. Jose Carranza, THV 11 News. Now again, here's the thing. If you can get your hands on this hat, it's selling for $30. Lance says they are working very closely with the university and are working to be officially licensed. I love this. You know, I've seen these hats everywhere, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until this story that I realized they're actually not just made in Arkansas, but they're made in Maumel, yeah. just up the road. I up live the road. in Maumel, so that's super neat. <laughs> yes, well, maybe you have better access to one, then. Well, or maybe two or so. three. Maybe or so. Talk to your friends. Okay. All right. Talk to the <laughs>